classroom practices. The most important thing to look at in the classroom practice is to make the students understand and follow instructions. The teacher's instructions need to be very clear. The teacher needs to use different words in order to make her instructions understandable by all the students in the class. If she thinks that the students are not following instructions, she needs to repeat the instructions again and again so that all the students in the class are able to follow instructions. Once the students would be able to follow the instructions, the activity or the classroom practice would go well. Just look at this video clip and try to understand how important the following of the instructions are. Today we are going to have some fun learning. You like to learn English? Yes. yes. But today we are going to have some fun while we are doing our English lesson. Okay? The first thing which is very important for all of us in this classroom is that we follow the instructions. By following the instructions means we are going to look at the process, how we are going to th do things and in what way we are going to do things. Since you are senior level learners, I would expect that you also memorize the steps of doing all the activities that I tell you. So you are working in groups. This is called group work. When you are doing group work, it is expected that you are going to help each other. If somebody in your group does not understand anything, you need to help that person. By doing group work, we not only learn things, but we also help each other. We also share things with each other. And when we become responsible citizens of Pakistan, then we are able to share all the good things that we have with all the other people around us. Do you agree with it? Yes. Do you like to work in groups? Yes. Would you like to help others? Yes. Very good. I'm very happy with all of you. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute some worksheets with you and you are going to keep them very safe. Then I would be telling you to follow the worksheets one by one. Okay? So the group work that we have started now, we have to do it like a team and help each other. You must have seen that the teacher is giving instructions by making the students aware that it is very important for the students to follow instructions. They need to listen to the teacher when she is telling about the instructions in a manner so that they can understand how to do the activity. There are some students in the class who sometimes do not follow the instructions well when the teacher tells them the first time. The teacher may repeat the instructions again and see whether everything is clear to the students. In order to make her instructions clear and make the students follow those instructions, the teacher needs to be very patient. The teacher needs to use the skill of listening to the students if the students are not understanding the instructions. She must listen to the students, whatever is their problem, and repeat the instructions in different ways. Maybe the words she's using is not clear for the students for the first time. In order to change the wordings, she needs to use some simple words so that the students would understand instructions. The job of the teacher becomes very easy when the students know how to follow instructions. Also, in the long run, the students would develop a habit of following instructions and it is a great skill to follow instructions. We need to follow instructions all our life given by different areas and different authorities and different agents. 
So if we develop a habit to follow instructions and then work on the process, it makes the job very easy to be done and the action required to be taken.